Well, everyone, RN Customs here. And today, we are going to be installing this EcoWorthy single axis tracker. EcoWorthy was kind enough to provide this. We did not, and I repeat, we did not have to pay for this. This is a test unit, was sent to us for an open and honest review. Um, so far, we've had it installed for a little bit under a week, and we had a battery out here running it each day. Seems to be working great so far. Haven't had any super windy days, so sadly we can't update you guys on how it, you know, handles those really high wind days, but so far so good. So stay tuned, watch the video, and then we'll get you guys on the outro. Here we are starting the install of the single axis solar tracking device from EcoWorthy. You guys remember, you gotta set south to south they give you a little compass so we're gonna do some calculating here and get her set to south here we are getting her set to south that's obviously north so that would be north but we got her dialed in and we're gonna get this set into the cement get you a concrete bit and then get a couple of the holes started on the pre-drill process Here we are getting our expansions bolt all put in. If you guys don't know how to do this, there's tons of great YouTube videos showing you guys tips and all that. So give those a look if you don't know how to put in expansion bolts. Here we got it set to south. All of our anchors are in. Gonna start the next, next step. Here we're gonna be starting step two. Tells you right there we need the B-Rod, which I pulled out. I mean, this is a pretty good instruction book here, folks. So definitely you can refer to their video that they have. We're not going to show every single step, but this is, this is one of the better instruction books I've seen lately. So here's where we've gotten to so far. We're using a mixture of the written instructions and their official EcoWorthy YouTube video. I'm gonna reach out to them. I'd like for them to add the east, west, south, and north indicators in the instruction manual, because when you're looking, they don't tell you what direction. And I mean, we, we've got it figured out, but like it did take a minute of just going through a few steps and figuring that out. But it'd be nice if they just had a little indicator if this was west or south or whatever. So I'm gonna reach out to them, see if they'd maybe be willing to edit this, who knows, but just something to think about if you guys are looking into this. So as we put the actuator on, we had a little bit of tightness here. It didn't really want to line up super great. So we loosened these four bolts on this. Then we came through and loosened the lower here and that one up in there. And now we have a little bit of free play. So that way it's not bound up or anything. Just retighten them. Now everything's good and it's still got just a little bit of movement. So it's not under any pressure. So if you guys run into that, just loosen up a couple of the bolts, let it readjust itself, retighten it down, check it again. So we're getting about 150 watts, 140, yeah, 149 right now. We're gonna turn on the controller and we'll see if the tracker kicks on. Maybe. Power buttons or power lights on. Power lights on. We might have to. We might have to program. Technical difficulties. There we go. So it believes it has found optimal sun. Let's come down here and let's see if we're making better wattage. Getting about 155. It was already pretty dang close to optimal, but there was the adjustment. So we'll go ahead and watch it here and see how it does. Here you can see the tracking countdown. Got nine minutes left, full battery. And right now this does not charge this in any way. What I'm gonna do is put another panel on here that has its own little charge controller and it's going to connect to that and keep this battery charged for the access controller. So here's a little 3D printed gadget I found on Thingiverse. It's a shadow little like sun calculator deal and you want that shadow to be as close to this divot as possible. So this is almost spot on. And remember, this has a static southern axis, so it's never going to be perfect, per se, unless it's like perfect sun in the south. Right now, it's 
quite a bit southeast so or southwest geez louise i'm getting all sorts of turned around but uh yeah we're gonna get a time lapse of this tomorrow and let you guys know how it goes here we are we were curious what the lowest interval time per per uh controller change and it's 10 to 60 minutes so the fastest you can have it rotate 10 every 10 minutes between its checks with the little solar uh, eyeball deal so here is what actually looks at the sun and finds the optimal angle for the east-west axis try to get you guys a good view of that came out this morning to check how the tracker's doing as you can see we got quite a bit of tree coverage here so i'm hoping 10 11 a.m we should get some nice sun come down here show you guys what the controller's saying system and locking low sun sight it's low sunlight so it's just sitting at a static angle here so the overnight angle it'll flip and uh stay like that so we'll update you guys when it starts turning Well, everyone, that kind of recaps our installation of this project. We're going to keep you guys updated if anything changes, you know, if we notice anything break or if it's still working great here, you know, after weeks and months, we'll make sure to keep you guys updated on how this thing's running and any improvements we make, you know, to how we have it laid out and the way we're going to store our battery and all that. So hope you guys enjoyed. Please leave a like if you did and subscribe to check us out in the future.